down. We need to pray and we need to be seeking God's face and it needs to be right here, you know, right here, seeking God's face. God, give me insight in the world. Give me insight what is going on. Stir me up, Father God, in the prophetic. Stir me up, Father God, to speak your word to your people. Father God, give me that word that will help that person to overcome the difficulty that they're facing right now, that they will push through that difficulty to move forward for the kingdom of God, the purpose they've been called and chosen for, and to be heard and to be seen in the way that you want them brought forth to do what you have called them to do. I mean, body of Christ, it is not all about me. It is not all about you. It's about other people that God is also putting in our lives to help them to overcome what they have faced in life, the challenges they have faced in life, that they will not be quiet shut their mouth over here and not say what God is giving them for whatever reason they think that they are disqualified, but they will hearken to the voice of the Lord. Say what God has given them to say and to speak what they have been given to speak for the kingdom of God. God uses us, people, you. He uses you as his voice, his mouthpiece on this earth to speak and to proclaim what is right. God cares about us. He wants us to move forward in victory. He doesn't want you to forsake what he called you to do. You know, this is, is when, when you go through the storms of life, being kicked out of churches, rejected by pastors, uh, rejected by your family, you know, cast out, Whatever might have happened in your life, the test of life is when you go through that and you come out on the other side and you say, you know what? I love Jesus. I'm still going to be a Christian. I'm still going to do what God called me to do. I'm still going to proclaim what God said. I'm still going to go become the minister he called me to be. I'm not going to quit. See, the devil will attack you through those closest to you. The devil will attack you through those who you love the most. The devil will attack you and try to stop you and withhold you from those you trust with your life, from those you, you know, submit to in authority. The devil will use them in some way to twist truth or to twist things that are not a truth to stop you from being that voice for the Lord Jesus Christ. When God called you, he knew the future. You know, he knew the end before the beginning. He knew already, okay? He knew the days that he, when he would create you, he knew that day would come that you would face all these difficulties because of the calling of God on your life. And God is saying to you, do not cease. Do not stop. Do not quit. Continue on. Can you not see what has happened in your own personal life that God's hand is on you and that's